33 and a half minutes, that makes it 1309 and a half at objective. Now we can begin serious map reading. The first thing we can do is to mentally check the angle of crossing the coast. Seems to be okay. Our first landmark is the spot height. According to our time scale, it's between the five and ten minute marks, about eight minutes after setting course. That is 12.44. There's no point in searching around for a landmark which isn't due. We concentrate on flying a steady course and keeping a good lookout. Just a word about weaving. If you must weave, don't do it violently like this. You'll never be able to maintain track. Make it a gentle weave, not more than 30 degrees either side. That's quite sufficient. There's the spot height on time on the port side. You can just see it by the clump of trees on top. As we're not passing over it, it looks as though we're a bit off track. But we'd better sit tight until we get another check. We might get a check when we cross this railway. Meanwhile, we'll stick to course. There's the railway at the bottom of the hill. But notice its direction. It looks as though instead of crossing here, we have crossed it somewhere about here. According to our 10 degree lines, we are about 5 degrees starboard of track. We must alter course about 8 degrees to port. That is 5 degrees track error, plus 3 degrees to regain track. 349 degrees less 8, that is 341. Don't forget that you must concentrate not on the cockpit, but what's going on outside. Hello, here's a river. Looks as though we're close to our next landmark. It's just about due, too. That's the river which should be on our starboard side. There it is. It's such a shallow valley as to be hardly noticeable. But there is no mistaking the river. We are directly over it, so we are still slightly starboard of track, but we should regain it in a minute or so. Look out for the railway. According to our time scale, we should be there after 18 minutes. That's 12.54, any moment now. There it is. A minute early. We are roughly halfway, so our ETA for the objective will be two minutes early that is 13.07 and a half. We must be about on track now, so we'll alter course to maintain it. About three degrees to starboard. That is on to 3.44. Time for our next landmark. There it is. There's the junction. We're on track. We should be seeing the town soon. Yes, there's a single line track. And there to starboard is the town. Only five minutes to go. Don't forget that steep slope down to the objective.
Keep an eye on the airspeed. There we are. There's the objective down in the valley. On this flight, no time was wasted scratching about on the map trying to identify odd pinpoints. Keep an eye on the clock, so as to only look for a landmark when it's due. And if you don't see a landmark, don't flap. Stick to your courses and ETAs. Careful flight planning makes navigation a certainty instead of a gamble.